I think I can very safely say that Taylor is having a wonderful, wonderful time, and so am I. It's a great privilege to be taking her out on her first adventure in what is a truly incredible, incredible wilderness area. It's quite easy for us to become a bit blasé, those of us who have spent some time here, but certainly judging by Taylor's reaction so far, she is in her elements, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking forward to seeing her behind the wheel as she explores here. I think this afternoon she'll possibly take you out on an adventure through the Mara, so that's something for all of you to look forward to. This female ostrich was acting quite interestingly. I've never seen a female ostrich do what she was doing. She was doing it, Mona, when they came to us initially. She was holding her wings down. Like, kind of down in front of her head. And there is a male behind her, so I'm not sure if she's trying to seduce the male or possibly um, move the wings away from her legs in order to tan her legs. That's another possible theory. Not likely, but possible. Um, my name's Scott. It's great to have you on board. And I have got Manu on camera. We have just kind of diverted away from the Mara River and we are going to head to an area called the Salt Lick in the hope that we'll find some gnus and some cats and possibly some interactions between those two species. So that is the plan. It's about another six or seven kilometers between here and there. And of course, we don't know what we're going to bump into along the way, but our goal is to try and find some predators. We are very privileged in that there is a lot of action unfolding in the Mara at the moment due to the fact that there is, of course, a bounty of food for them to cash in on. And we are going to try our best to get ourselves into those situations while the migration is here. So that is the plan. Sounds like you've been having a good time with Byron and James thus far. We've been trying to cover as much ground as possible in order to get into some possibly higher action areas. Now, for those of you who may be a little bit new to the show or the safari, um, I haven't been spending too much time in this general area over the past few months. I've been more on the opposite side of the river, spending time with some cheetah that live over there. So I'm really loving being this side. It is quite a lot different in terms of the terrain and vegetation. There seems to be a lot longer grass on this side of the river compared to that side. And just a new area to explore where I'm not as familiar with the roads and the places, which is exciting until you get lost. <laughs> but looking forward to this morning adventure with all of you guys. Uh, Andy, I apologize that I will not be able to fulfill your request to show you crocodiles. I've decided to head away from the river um, in order to be able to work areas where we can off-road. The busier areas alongside the river, we do not have uh, permission to off-road. So, and in order to be able to get to where we want to get to and be in the right position to show you guys cool stuff, off-roading is a very, very important aspect. So the river would not provide us with that. But maybe what we can do is one of the river cams can possibly be linked into the show because we do have four river cams keeping an eye on the river. And that's also another reason why it doesn't make huge sense for me to be there because the river cameras can monitor that area and we can search a different area, thus dividing and conquering. So maybe we can work that out, show you some views from one of the four river cams. But I personally will not be able to take you there as much as I would like to. We have got to stick to our operation, or at least the goals, which is to get into the thick of the migration and with the hope that we'll be able to document some action between the predators and the prey. All righty, well, 
I'm going to continue driving quite quickly. I may even drive a little bit faster while you're gone. And we will send you back to Byron, who I am fairly certain is not traveling as quickly as I am.